warmer weather is a perfect excuse to take your grocery shopping outdoors. And there's no better place than your local farmer's market. But before you head out the door, there's a few things you should know. Nutritionist Tamara Melton is here with us to give us some helpful tips on how to make the most of your shopping experience. So when you get to the farmer's market, it's a little bit overwhelming. There's yeah. a lot to choose from. How do you stay on track when you get here? The first thing you can do is check out the website before you come and see what kind of vendors are there. And most farmer's market also have an information desk. So when you first get there, just stop by and see what's going on. And arrive early because the best fruits and vegetables and foods and everything are out early. You don't want to get them picked over. And if you're somebody who's interested in getting organic ingredients, make sure that you ask the farmers, is this 100% organic or is it just made from some organic materials? There is a difference between the two. I know personally, when I go to the farmer's market, I see a lot of things that I maybe don't recognize at my normal grocery store. And that can be a little intimidating. How do you kind of break out of that shell and try something you've never tried before? The best thing you can do is talk to the experts, the farmers who are standing right there. So if you don't know how to cook that purple potato, just ask them, how do I put this ingredient into my meal? And they'll be really happy to help you. I'm excited to check this place out. Let's go see what they have to offer. Let's go. Another thing to think about while at the farmer's market is food safety, right? Definitely. So it's one of the main things you want to think about when you're buying fruits and vegetables from a farmer's market. Uh, remember the way that farms are built. You might have a cow farm or something like that that's upstream from a produce farm. So all those sorts of things that come from them are, might be running downstream. So you want to make sure that you wash your fruits and vegetables really, really well, especially things like leafy greens. Make sure that you wash it really well under running water so that you can clean out everything from all the crevices before you actually even start cooking it. So cooking's not gonna kill all the bacteria. You wanna try to do as much as possible. What about milk and cheeses? So these things are sitting out, so you wanna make sure that you get them refrigerated as quickly as possible, especially in the summertime when it's really warm out. And I noticed that they're on ice right now. Yes, that's actually a really good practice. So you wanna look for vendors who have their cheeses and their milks on ice so that you're keeping it safe and not growing any bacteria. What about beverages, like ciders, juices, milk even? So those sorts of things, if they're at the farmer's market, you want to make sure that they're pasteurized, especially for certain groups, like small children, pregnant women, or somebody who might be immunocompromised, people who are going through chemotherapy or things like that, have a higher likelihood of getting sick from different diseases that the rest of us would just be fine from. So we're at my favorite table at the farmer's market, the pastries, the breads, it's what I love. Um, can I indulge in a few or do I have to stay away from these completely in order to be healthy? You can indulge in a few, but just remember that just because it's at the farmer's market doesn't mean it's calorie free or fat free. So you want to make sure that you just get one or two treats, keep the portion sizes small, and then you should be okay. I think a lot of people are fearful when it comes out to picking you know, meat products, poultry, things like that. How do you make sure you're avoiding contamination? The first thing you want to do is make sure that the vendor has good food practices. So make sure that the meat is on ice. And then you want to get into refrigeration as soon as possible, especially if it's over 90 degrees outside. Within an hour, you should have your meat in a cooler and on ice as well. And make sure that if you're getting your fruits and vegetables along with your meats at the farmer's market, keep them in two separate containers. So if you have tote bags or anything like that, ideally they're completely separated so that you don't have any cross-contamination of bacteria. Thank you so much. These tips are wonderful. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to do some shopping. Me too. Let's go.